Okay, hello everyone. Today is Monday, October 7th, 2024. This should be a very, very brief video. I just wanted to share a revelation or a clarification that I got from the Lord over the last, I don't know, maybe two, three days. Um, he didn't tell me to come on here and share this, but I asked permission to, and he gave me permission just, just to kind of help clue y'all in if you haven't figured this out for yourself yet already. Um, so if you have been watching and paying attention over the last few years, Especially maybe back around 2020, 2021-ish, and since then, there has been a lot of chatter or buzz or trend of people giving rhema messages from God, giving warnings, giving exhortations, using the word shaking or shakings that there is a great shaking coming, that everything that can be shaken will be shook, that there are great shakings coming, etc. And even recently in whatever scripture I've been going through, I've been going through a lot of scripture recently, the last few days, um, even in certain passages, there's mention of shaking, shakings. And what the Lord said to me, I, I just got this like word of knowledge, this knowing, and I've been confirming it for a few days now. <sighs> a few days ago, a few days ago, excuse me, a few years ago, we entered into the sorrows. And we're in October of 2024 right now. Passover of 2025, April 12th, 2025, will commence, will begin, will start, will kick off the Great Tribulation. As opposed to the sorrows okay so we've already been in the last seven years let me just emphasize that once again okay people think that the seven years just started or that it's about to start no we've been in the last seven years already the first half of the last seven years is the sorrows the birth pangs or pains the last approximate three and a half years it's a little bit more than three and a half years is the great tribulation that is god's wrath that will commence passover of 2025 the point of this video is to just clarify that all of these messages and even some passages that talk about shaking, shakings, I've come to realize now, the Lord has clarified to me that what he's been doing since the beginning of the sorrows is he's been telling people to prepare for the great tribulation. If you remember, again, back a few years ago, I was like 2020, 2021-ish, somewhere around there, there was a lot of people that were, well, there was, there was a couple of people, maybe a few people, I can think of two off the top of my head, that they were putting out these messages that God, they said that God said, brace yourself, right? And people were getting dreams and visions um, of, you know, all these different analogies, basically, all these different metaphors, and basically it was to brace yourself, it was to prepare you know, both in the natural and in the spirit, okay? God was basically trying to wake everybody up and say, okay, you're, you're entering into the sorrows. You're in the sorrows now. The sorrows are the time, like the like last second, so to speak, the last few years to prepare for the great tribulation. So that meant to prepare, yes, in the natural, to start preparing, prepping in terms of stocking up food and water and supplies and equipment and things like that, relocating wherever God wanted you to relocate. The last few years, the sorrows, God has been trying to bring people together to, uh, to come together for marriage, to come together for friendship, to come together for fellowship, to come together for ministry, to come together for uh, spiritual centers, safe havens, discipleship centers, etc., okay? And by and large, people have not been coming into alignment with God's will. The sorrows have been the time of preparation, okay? We're, we're coming to the end of the sorrows, which is why the birth pains, birth pangs, the contractions are uh, getting more intense and more frequent, okay? They're less spread apart, and they're not so mild and subtle anymore, okay? Um, we are about to head into the Great Tribulation this coming April of 2025, the shaking or shakings that has been talked about and prophesied and warned of and 
exhorted about is the great tribulation. That's what God has been clarifying to me for the last few days, okay? So that's what God has been trying to say when everyone's been using these uh, vague terms of shaking or shakings. God's been referring to, he's been pointing to the great tribulation. Okay? Um, anything else, Lord? I think that's that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. So, the great shaking is coming. The great tribulation is coming. And a lot of people's bubble is about to be burst. I cannot believe the amount of people that I have seen, all the, all the videos I've been seeing. People literally, truly, genuinely believe that the rapture is about to happen any day now. They're in for a... They're in for an awakening. Okay? The rapture happens after the tribulation. That's what Yeshua told us in Matthew. He specifically said, after the tribulation. It's blunt. How people are missing this is spirits of denial. Okay? Um, and again, just to address how people want to argue and twist scripture and say that, you know, oh, well, God's word says that we're not appointed to his wrath. Yeah, that doesn't mean that you won't still physically be alive and be here. And you're not appointed to his wrath, wrath if you're in right standing with him, which most people aren't, even though they think they are. Have you been pursuing your deliverance? The answer to, for most people is no, you have not. Have you been consecrating yourself? There's different levels of that, but part of that is pursuing your deliverance. Have you been doing what God has been telling you to do? If God told you to relocate, have you relocated? If God told you to get married, did, did you get married? If God told you to come together with someone for ministry, for a safe haven, whatever the case may be, did you do that? Okay? Lots of people have not come into alignment with his will, and they don't realize that, no, you're not underneath. Lots of people don't realize that they are not underneath his wings of protection and provision. People are realizing that now. Okay? So, anyway... The point of this video is just to clarify, to reveal, to share the revelation, the clarification that God has given me, the Holy Spirit has given me the last few days. The great shaking or shakings that everyone's been talking about for the last few years is the great tribulation. And it's only months away. So prepare now. And most importantly, you need to prepare in the spirit. You need to consecrate yourself. You need to make sure that you're conveyed into the kingdom, which means you need to pursue your deliverance. So, again, you can email me. God has been training me and equipping me in deliverance. And I've been getting a lot of breakthrough this year because of all the work that I've done, all the pioneering, trailblazing, forerunning work that I've been doing regarding the ministry of deliverance. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a teaching on that here soon on the channel. But you can email me. My email address is always on the About page. I'll put it in the description box below for you email me so that you can get your deliverance process started, okay? God knows what you have been made aware of, and he holds you accountable to it. If you are not emailing me to get your deliverance, you're going to be held accountable for that on Judgment Day. I'm just warning you for your own sake, for, the, for your sake, your eternity. So anyway, the point of the video is to inform you, if you have not figured it out yet, that the great shaking or shakings... The people have been talking about for years now, the last few years, is the Great Tribulation. And yes, most people will still be here alive, living in the land of the living when that happens. It's a matter of are you underneath God's spiritual protection and provision because you are consecrated, because you are coming into alignment with his will and doing his will. Right? I bless you all in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth.